couple of years ago, Elon Musk had a dream, and that dream was to get people across the country in hypersonic tubes, like those older offices in the 60s where they would use vacuum tubes to get documents from place to place. And joining me on the stage now are three people who are turning that dream into reality. We've got from Hyperloop One, Josh Giegel, co-founder, head of technology, the man who's making the magic. I forgot your first name. It's Nick, Nick Earl. Earl. Nick Earl. Nick Earl. Head of operations. And at the far end, Rob Lloyd, CEO. In theory, it sounded reasonably simple. You know, build a tube, put a vacuum on one end, suck out all the air. Um, what have been the biggest challenges turning that from a theoretical concept into an actual thing? Well, it's cold out now. Uh, and it's very hot in the summer out here, so it's... Fighting the environment a little bit has actually been a fairly large challenge. It's especially windy up north. But then in terms of uh, just, we have an organization that less than two years ago was about four people. So we had to do all of this and you know, build, acquire a test site, do the design, create the, the technology that goes into the design in an extremely short period of time. So it's been trying to do this, which on the surface seems really easy until you actually go do it. And that's, uh, that's what really sets us apart from everybody else, is the fact that we can go to our test site and see it. In the next couple of months, however, it's, it's looking likely that you're going to have your first very big test uh, launch, your Kitty Hawk moment, um, just a couple of miles down the road in North Las Vegas. So first things first, how far away are we? How's, how's construction going? It's going pretty well. I was up there this morning uh, before coming down here, and it's... We've got a couple hundred meters of tube up at this point, and we're moving inside uh, the levitation, the propulsion systems are all coming in over the next couple weeks. And then uh, check out vacuum systems coming in very shortly, and uh, within a few months here, you're going to start to see some pretty interesting action. What was the biggest thing that gave you headaches in terms of just building this thing out? Right now, it's, uh, it's having all the electrical components deal with the vacuum. So there's some interesting things that happen when you take high, high voltage electronics and put them inside low pressure environments. And just making sure our system was able to robustly be able to work even in that scenario. How hard has it been to get, again, from the theory to the reality? It's been, you know, the manufacturing facility that we've had has only been around for about seven months at this point. So completely bare space that we had to populate and fill with people and equipment. Uh, but it has been really interesting to watch how you make this because it's one thing just say you're going to test it, but a big part of the value proposition that we're going is that we're the company who owns not only the technology but the ability to make it. How far away? Have we got any, got any teasers on when we can expect the, uh, the Kitty Hawk to happen? You put me on the spot here. No. <laughs> uh, within uh, probably a couple months, we'll start to see, see, see things and things happening to say this. Okay, least. okay. I'll, I'll, I'll ask you one more question. Um, have you, now that you're getting to the point where it's, it's really becoming a thing, um, how close are we going to get to the, the big promise of 750 miles an hour? You know, are we at that point where you're still thinking that's the speed you want to go at? Or, you know, are the, are the models telling you now you need to come down from that a little bit? The biggest thing with the speed is the routes that we're going to get. So a lot of the routes that we're looking at are of first routes that are anywhere between 20, 50 miles long. And speed is an important factor on that. But the big part of what these routes are is just the beginning of a bigger route. So as we go to, you know, we're doing our proof of concept, proof of technology in the desert right now. That will eventually translate to a proof of operations or a certification lab, and that's what we've been working with in, in Dubai and some other places to get these facilities that are essentially the next step for us, which is certification. And that, that means you're allowed to ride it, and governments let their people or the citizens ride it and, because it, it's safe. And as we move that out and grow that speed, depending upon the route is where the speed's going to come into play. So the straighter we get, the better we are.